I think it's time that we finally address the elephant in the room. Dude, you have been in this room for quite a long time, and I feel like you need to take a step outside, okay? Like, it's kind of crowded in here, all right? All right? I just, I just need you to know that. Okay. I'm glad that we addressed the elephant in the room. So, I watched in its entirety the Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix live action series. It is not a live action that is a direct one for one remake of the cartoon. It is one that is trying to do its own thing, and I can understand that from that point of view. Uh, comparing it to the cartoon would be kind of unfair. However, I am going to potentially spoil things, so if you don't want to be spoiled and you want to watch it to formulate your own opinion, please, whatever you do, just don't, don't watch, okay? I'm gonna be completely honest with you on this. It wasn't good. I had the expectations going into it, um, that it was going to be a one-for-one -one remake, to be fair. Not, like, exact remake, but I had the expectations that it was gonna be, like, an actual retelling of the cartoon. I went in there with an open mind. Even though there was a bunch of changes that I read about, I read about a whole bunch of changes, like the, the character development and the whole fact that they were gonna go more Game of Thrones route, more adult. I was very excited right i watched the trailers i thought it looked great i thought it looked amazing everything looked fantastic however what we got and what i got was a very unpleasant surprise <laughs> is is the series actually good no i don't think so i think that the series is very much plagued with bad writing uh not very solid acting way too much exposition and even like how moist critical even did it because i watched his review is he said that the expedition was the exposition was so much like the exposition was so much that it was dumbed down exposition it explained every single tiny little fucking movement of anything in such detail to make it really feel like the audience doesn't know what we're talking about so we really have to let them understand what the entire like the feel is what they're feeling and what they're thinking instead of letting the audience formulate their own opinion like they kind of just overly explained it to everyone i thought the bending was fantastic in my opinion i thought that like the movement the combat was very very good and fluid i also thought that the some of the actors were good for their roles like for example i actually liked Zhao, uh and i really liked zuko's actor and i think that the person who played ang was definitely a, a great choice for ang per I, honestly i would say a lot of people were very solid choices and the bending the martial arts the fighting was all really well choreographed i think that the the bending designs itself and like the the cgi for it was not terrible it had a little bit of parts where it was kind of hard to follow but you know i mean you can only do so much right as much as the visuals were pretty as much as the bending looked great and as much as the actors all looked like they were a part of the role as well as the costume designs looked fantastic uh, and the world felt very much Avatar. It definitely is not a one-for-one one remake. It's something that you kind of have to keep in mind now going into it. It is not a one-for-one. One. It's not a complete retelling of the cartoon. People have said that it's impossible to retell the cartoon and capture, like, that essence of the cartoon. But I don't think it's necessarily impossible. The, the beauty that is the cartoon could have actually been captured very easily uh and you definitely have people who at least have watched the show and know what they're like kind of doing but at the same time here comes my cons the story was not good the writing was not good the script felt very monotone there was absolutely no development of any of the characters at all not a single character felt developed in my opinion it felt like a lot of stuff was just overly explained and talked to and talked at you instead of letting you formulate your own opinion on things and holy shit was it ever poorly paced it was paced so bad it's bad in my opinion it's just generally bad like there's there's no reason to really watch it in in my honest to god opinion if you want to watch the avatar series watch the cartoon if you're gonna watch anything watch the cartoon 
fully dive into the cartoon itself because it is so much more development so funny so well crafted and seeing this this live action series be what like i don't even know what it was trying to be it was trying to be its own standalone thing but it didn't even feel like it it felt like it felt like the they kind of lied in the trailers if you will so they showed the trailers and made it look like we were going to get a actual one for one remake but then they waited until the last minute to tell everyone oh by the way no because it was not it is its own standalone thing and it is not a good standalone thing i would say if you want to watch it watch it it's just i don't know man it was just really fucking bad it was really bad in my opinion and this is okay so i it is unfair to compare it to the cartoons since it's trying to be its own thing but at the same time like that's the source material that's what we want and i really still don't understand companies man i don't understand people who make series look at the live action one piece all right look at how well the live action one piece was with its creator on board green lighting everything with them slightly changing things some questionable things but slightly changing things going in that amazing direction made the live action one piece such a good fucking live action adaptation it was so good it's to the point where i could show that one piece live action adaptation to a non one piece fan and they would really fucking be like they, they probably would like it and you know get introduced to the world like kind of quickly but get introduced to it right this wouldn't do its job honestly it kind of feels like if you showed this to a new fan of avatar it would feel like you're doing them a disservice in my opinion ang doesn't even water bend in this series at all the secret tunnel stuff they had that the badger moles and the secret tunnel and the guy singing the song they kept that but that was in omashu in a mountain and it wasn't ang and katara having their love triangle no 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 no. what it was was uh katara and sokka being siblings and loving each other as siblings the series in my opinion i wouldn't watch it i i really wouldn't i is it good no it, it's not it's not good it's very much a bad series i wouldn't say it's horrible is it better than the live action movie yes yes it is i you can say to me all you want that they can't capture the the beauty of the cartoon but that's just it with enough episodes and enough time and enough effort especially with how long this fucking series took to come out you would think that they took more time and just stuck with the script that was already there a well-written story with great character development and fantastic world building completely thrown out the window to try to tell your own story that didn't even fucking in my opinion make sense every character felt so bland and so abysmally boring all of the dialogue was kind of doo-doo the script was just bad there's so much crammed into hour-long episodes that did not need to be crammed into that like that tight of a fit and only eight episodes you could have done more by asking for more episodes or going through the motions to get those like 12 or 15. so much could have been done with it and it's such a disappointment i actually feel like i wasted money on netflix to watch the series like i legit feel like that right now because it doesn't feel good i didn't walk out of that thinking oh my god that was the most amazing thing in the world it felt so bland and didn't feel like the actual story that needed to be told instead it felt like they were like you know what uh we think that none of this is gonna sit well so let's just make the let's just make money it, it really did feel kind of like that like oh everyone's getting a live action adaptation let's just make some money this time it really upsets me as an avatar fan because i want a genuine honest to god retelling of the story not a not a remix of the story not a new story i want that story shown and i want multiple books i don't want just book one we've seen book one twice now and even in the cartoon three times three times if you count the cartoon i want to see book two i don't want to see book one i don't want to see all that stuff i want to see book two i want to see toff coming i want to see her fucking fight and call him twinkle toes i want to see i want to see zuko train ang i want to see ang 
grab the Fire Lord's beard from the rocks done in live action. Those fucking beautifully done moments, all that building up leading to that fucking end point. The last two episodes felt like they were mentally just done. It was a chore just to watch those last two episodes of the series, of, of the live action series. I would rather have a one for one remake than whatever the hell we just got. I'd rather you literally word for word remake the, the thing as a live action than what we just got. Even if it was cringy dialogue, I wouldn't care. I liked the adult themes of the show, but the adult themes didn't make me want to rewatch the series or even be hopeful for a season two. I don't want to see what you're going to do with Ta. I don't want to see what you're going to do with the, the final battle. You didn't even show us him like Aang learning waterbending. You didn't show us any of that. Instead, what we got was a stupid journey and a, a, a bland journey and a bland experience with bland characters with no development, no joy in the show. Everything just felt like it always had to be serious. It always had to be this, 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 this. There was not ever a moment to process things. Nothing at all. It was just... But yeah, there you go. There's my thoughts on it. I talked for like 40 minutes. Uh, I kind of went all over the place, but there's my general thoughts. I don't like it. Just watch the cartoon. Just watch the cartoon, man. Don't even bother. Like you can if you want to. If you want the experience of torturing yourself, go ahead. It wasn't the worst thing ever. You should not watch this, this series first if you're new. You should just watch the cartoon. The cartoon is so good watch that and be happy enjoy your magical moment of the first time of you watching it i know why the creators left the show that was that is definitely why the creators left the show holy shit <laughs>